So in this video we're going to look at using the same function as we did in the previous video, but this time we're going to be dividing by x plus 1. So I've already set it up so that we're going x's into x cubed because x squared. x squared times these two terms are x cubed plus x squared. Perform a subtraction, 0, 2x squared take away x squared is x squared. Bring down the next term. X is into x squared goes x. X times these two terms is x squared plus x. Draw a line, perform a subtraction. x squared take away x squared is 0. Minus 25x take away x is minus 26x. Bring the minus 50 down. X is into minus 26x is minus 26. Minus 26 times these two terms, minus 20. 6x take away 26. So we get 0 minus 50 take away minus 26 is minus 24. And so we have a remainder this time of minus 24. So you can write the function f of x as x plus 1 times x squared plus x minus 26 but it's not quite factorised because it's got that minus 24 on the, on the outside. So you have a linear term, a quadratic term, but you have this remainder. So it hasn't factorised it cleanly. Okay? So that is how, in over, the top, over these two videos, you can see that polynomial division can help you uh, factorise a cubic, but it can also identify the remainder. Now, as I said in a previous video on the factor theorem and remainder theorem, you cannot use this method to show that a linear term is a factor or to determine the remainder. You must use the factor theorem and remainder theorem. Okay? So, you only use this when you are planning on factorising the, the cubic.